there was no waiting to find out just how good the 1974 Maryland football team might be. There were no soft touches at the front end of the schedule, but there was the Bear, legendary Bear Bryant, and the Alabama Crimson Tide, rated by some the best team in the nation for the start of the 1974 season. Over 54,000 gathered at Bird Stadium September the 14th, the largest college park football audience in Maryland's history. Bryant's one-time player, later assistant coach, and longtime friend Jerry Claiborne harnessed his third edition of the Terrapins to a bone-crushing defense led by All-American tackle Randy White. For Claiborne, this was a chance to challenge his old mentor and to prove that Maryland's high preseason ranking was justified. Alabama's Tide struck for two touchdowns in the first 22 minutes, while Maryland stayed close in the strength of three field goals. After another Alabama score, Maryland again closed the gap, when the relentless defense forced a fumble and produced a touchdown. The final tally was 21 to 16 Alabama. The crowd jamming Bird Stadium roared at the action. Bear Bryant said, we were lucky. We were lucky to get away with our skins. A week later in Tampa, Maryland took on its second nationally ranked Southeastern Conference foe, the University of Florida. The Terrapins scored first and led 10 to seven at halftime. But some crucial drop passes and lost fumbles interrupted the Maryland offensive flow and the Gators retaining a hard fought 17 to 10 win. Jerry Claiborne said, we are 0-2, I don't like that. We must bounce back. And bounce back Maryland did. At home for the second time, the Terrapins gathered in their first win. The North Carolina Tar Heels, coming off some big performances of their own, arrived with a high-powered offense. Lewis Carter cruised for 76 yards in a scoring jaunt, sprung free by Allen Bloomingdale's bombarding block. This was the first test for the Terrapins in the conference, the Atlantic Coast Conference, and it was a tremendous success. On a rainy late September afternoon, the Terrapins amassed over 360 yards offensively. The Terps took a 14 to nothing lead into their halftime locker room. Late in the third period, Carter scored again, his second touchdown of the day on a short pass from Bob Avellini. Avellini, the Maryland quarterback, was on his way to leading the Atlantic Coast Conference and setting new Maryland passing records despite starting for the first time against North Carolina. Right pass 80, on set. Hit! Quarterbacks are always the very core of the offense. Maryland quarterback coach Jerry Eisman recites some fundamentals and refines some yeah, techniques. We've got to be at seven yards. We've got to be at seven yards, so we got plenty of time to throw the football. We want to put distance between us and the defensive rush. Okay, everybody together. Okay, not bad. One more time. Okay, Lee, you're going to have to get those shoulders around a little quicker now. All right, right past 80. Call it to Larry on set. Four's going to come. We're going to blitz. They're going to blitz. We're going to dump it on third step. Not bad. All right, the weight's going to be in our right foot. We're going to throw those head, eyes, and shoulder. We're going to use our arms to swing. We're going to pull ourselves back, and we're going to be at seven yards. Sit. One, two, three, four, five, sit. All right, good. Real good. Okay, man, let's work on a sprint out a little bit. Let's get our depth. We want to roll. We want to get distance between us and the line of scrimmage. We want to get a depth of approximately seven yards. We want to put pressure on the line of scrimmage. We're sprinting all together, everybody at once. Right past 62. Don't anticipate. All right, get that depth. Turn towards that line of scrimmage, run and throw. All right, all right, let's work on pass 53, our play action a little bit. What we try to do with our play action, we try to make it the exact same as pass 80. The only thing is we're gonna pivot out, we're gonna post the ball to our tailback and we're gonna set it seven yards. It'll be right past 53. The most important thing is putting that weight in that right foot, bring those head and shoulders, and just spin around there and set up at seven yards. Okay, it'll be on my case. On one, on one. We left past 53. Set. All right, that's good head and eyes. Now hold it. Now look at the difference. See, we're a little deeper. It all comes from that initial start. All right, let's go the other way. Hey! Good depth. All right, get that ball up. Now get that ball up, ready to throw. We don't want it down here. We want it up there, ready to throw. No long arm action. 
Okay, right past 42 bootleg. Right past 42 bootleg. What do we got to do? What's important? You got to put that hand in there, give a good ride with that tail back, hold those linebackers, make them think it's a run, and then we're going to peel off backside for the football. All right. Peek. Okay, you rushed it. Leon, Larry, you rushed it. You got to ride with that tail back. Now let's ride with that tail back. Let's do it individually. All right, Leon, let's go. Right past 42 bootleg. Now let's put that hand in here. Let's ride with that tail back. Take your time. You got to be an actor. On one, Bob. Fast 42 bootleg. Sit. Hey. Get back there. Take your time. Good luck. All right. Good job. Good job. For the second year in a row, Maryland feasted on the orange of Syracuse. Safety man Bob Smith displays why he is one of the most dangerous punt returners in the country. The Orange had a new coach and a new defensive look, but Bob Avellini wasted no time in exploiting their weaknesses. Here, Tim Wilson takes a short pitch and goes in for remarkable yardage. The defense foiled every Orange thrust and Randy White, well, he seemed to be everywhere. Scoring for the first time in his varsity career, Mark Mangus on this remarkable run. The Terps are even on the year now. Those two early season losses have been matched by two big, brilliant wins. And we head into game five against the Clemson Tigers, another strong ACC foe. The Tigers were roaring for revenge after last year's embarrassment at home. But Maryland was reaching a playing peak. The Terrapins scored 10 points in the first period and added 10 more in the second to stun the Tigers. But it was the fourth quarter that proved the shocker. A scoring surge adding 21 points to the scoreboard, completing one of Maryland's most convincing wins. Bob Smith capped his football career at Maryland by being named All-Conference three seasons in a row. And his coaching staff brought in a new attitude with it, an attitude that we could win and we did. There's a very strong relationship, what we call esprit de corps, between all our players. And I think it's most evident if one of us has a bad game or makes a mistake in a game that's critical, then the other players rally around that individual and, uh, you know, make him feel a lot better about the whole thing and uh, so that he doesn't lose his attitude or anything. And when you have an attitude like that, it's a lot easier to play and a lot easier to try to do your best. You don't want to let your teammates down you make sure that you're not making any dumb mistakes out in the field. Frank Russell will be remembered as one of the most gifted receivers and the best blockers in Maryland football history. The record book will prove it. Coach Claiborne emphasizes uh, the education even more than the football at times. He wants us to get a degree before anything. I think that with Coach Claiborne putting so much emphasis on getting an education, it makes us work harder. We will have something to fall back on after we graduate here. It feels pretty good to be part of the winning program, to know that our class really was the big part in turning the program around. And that has to make you know, everybody of this class you know, pretty happy to know that we had a lot to do with it, a lot of self-satisfaction. Jerry Claiborne has 11 assistants on his staff. John Devlin works with the defensive linebackers. George Fasekas coaches the guards. Gabriel Maine coaches the defensive line. Terry Strzok, the defensive secondary, and Gothard Lane, the defensive ends. On offense, Jake Hallam tutors the line. Terry Groom, the setbacks. Joe Krivak works with the receivers, and Jerry Eisman, the quarterbacks. Rounding out the 10 are Dick Redding with his chores as the JV coach, and Tom Park, who coordinates recruiting. And here's the way they coordinate their winning efforts. 
There we go. 60 feet. 60 feet. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. What do you run last time on third down? Third short. What do you run last time? Third short. Same thing. No, no, no. We got it. If they make the play. All right. All right. get our minds start getting ready for the next week. We've been looking for our fans these days quite a while now. We'll be here. Yeah! After a shutout win over Wake Forest at homecoming, Maryland met defending conference champion North Carolina State. More than 50,000 fans crammed Bird Stadium for the game matching the two conference powers. The Wolfpack boasted another high-powered offense, but the Terrapins had just the ingredients to defuse it. Maryland's rock rib defensive unit, paced by a line called one of football's strongest, shut off the run, hampered the pass, and scored liberally on the Wolfpack defense. The Terrapins posted a 20 to 10 win, had moved to undisputed first place in the conference while extending their winning string to five in a row. Five Bowl Scouts got their first view of the Terrapins in person. All were impressed. At State College, Pennsylvania, over 60,000 personal fans were joined by millions more nationally as Maryland and Penn State renewed their old rivalry. Early mistakes presented the Lions with a brace of scores. Then Maryland fights back with some spectacular strikes. Joe Paterno said Maryland was one of the most powerful and imaginative teams the Lions faced all year. Even in defeat, Maryland gained stature for its poise and its tremendous balance. Villanova caught Maryland on the rebound. The game marked the final home appearance for Maryland for 1974. It was an awesome home finale. The Terrapins routed the Cats. Still another shutout, and still more records on the books. More than 40,000 Terrapin fans watched the scoring avalanche.
the Terrapins were Liberty Bowl bound. Be together, be together. Oh. Linebackers are a key in the cornerstone of Maryland's brilliant nationally ranked defense. Linebacker coach John Devlin conducts his drill. That's good. Here you go. Crossover. Good breakdown now. Good breakdown. Pump those feet. Pump those feet. Come back. Come back. Here you go. Down low now. Bend the waist. Bend the waist. Use those hands. Stay low. Stay low. Short choppy steps. Good feet. Go. Come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Come on. Here. Okay, good feet now. Good feet. Move those feet. Out of board, Kevin. Go. Cool. That's good, that's good, that's good. Down low, down low, down low, down low, down low, down low. Quick, 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 good feet now, good feet. Well, I'm all day now, today. Hey, all right, here we go, it's North Sea here. North Sea here. First down, first down. Hey! That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Outside deer now. Outside deer, that's the way to go. Pass back now. I'll tell you one thing. No, 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 wait a second. Now, listen, linebackers, look. If you're kidding a fullback and you get the overblock, if you get the overblock, don't leave. If you get over block, don't leave. That'll help you take on the, the, the lead, okay? If you got over, don't go anywhere. Go on wide. First down. North. Let's go North C. North C. North C. North C. Go on wide. Here we go. First down. Hey! There's a the lead. That's good. That's boys to own him. That's just what I'm talking about, Harry. You see that? Only, you know, it'll be full speed in the game. That's the way to go. That's the way to go. Watch your fullback. Watch your fullback. Hey! Let's go zone again. Yeah, let's go zone again so we can use it. Yeah, see? He's going flat. You gotta go strong. Let's go power. Power A. Power A. Power A zone. Power A zone. Okay. Power right or left man. Now let's get on and knock their heads off. Let's start collision with people. That's good, that's good, Zanoni! That's good, I'll take it. Can't catch it laying in the ground. It's the way to go. When Maryland met Duke in the Oyster Bowl in November, the Terrapins needed just one more win to clinch the conference title. What started as a game ended as a rout. Maryland bombarded the Devils. 56 to 13 in a day when everything, everything went right. The Terrapins put the game out of Duke's reach early. For the first time, Maryland owned an undisputed Atlantic Coast Conference football crown. Finally, game number 11 against Virginia in Charlottesville. The Terrapins were 20 point favorites, and they won by a score of 10 to nothing. After a two week layoff, Lewis Carter punched Virginia for 200 yards rushing all by himself, finishing the regular year with 992 yards and the coveted number one position in the Terrapin record book. And for Randy White, well, he concluded his ACC career as it began, with more of the big plays that made him the conference outstanding player.
Tailback Lewis Carter, one of the 25 seniors who vowed to turn Maryland football around, became one of the most honored Terrapins in history. He was also one of the most talented. Coming to the University of Maryland uh, under the direction of Coach Claiborne was a tremendous experience for me. He took us from down in the dumps and he took us down to two consecutive bowl bids. The University of Maryland's in uh, just a super spot, you know, it's like in between uh, Baltimore and D.C. and it's uh, a million of things that you can, like, get involved with. On the campus now, you get more respect from people, you know, and as far as the girls go, uh, that's picked up, too. <laughs> it's been real pleasing to me my past years here, and it's just been super. The pros say Steve Mickemeyer is the best college kicker in this year's graduating crop. He owns the Maryland kick scoring record. And for Steve Mickemeyer, it's been a bright and brilliant three years. I think the fact that Coach Claiborne uh, came to this university to help all of us a great deal because he just turned us around and made us a winner. In the first place, he's a hell of a coach. He just knows what he's doing. And uh, he's so well prepared all the time. And he just uh, gives you so much confidence every time he talks to you, every time he tells you something. It uh, just comes through you and you just uh, feel like doing your best. With the regular season over, enthusiasm for the Liberty Bowl bound Terrapins was contagious. 14,500 frenzied fans in an early Maryland basketball game saluted the graduating football seniors with one of the great ovations in Cole Fieldhouse history. Then it was on to Memphis and the meeting with the University of Tennessee. The game was the prime Monday night feature on national television, the first big bowl game of the postseason. One thousand fans jammed the Memphis Stadium by kickoff time. The game was a spectator's delight. Maryland's high-powered offense matched its rock-rib defense. The Terrapins led three to nothing early. The Terps still had some big plays in their repertoire. Tennessee took the lead near the end of that climactic fourth quarter. The Terrapins fought back in this game of inches to be only inches away from a well-deserved win at the final gun. But for the Terrapins, it had been a tremendous year and the seniors had indeed turned the program around. Nineteen seventy four was the climax year for All American tackle Randy White, a repeat season for America's most celebrated lineman and winner of the Outland Trophy. I've uh, grown into Coach Claiborne's system and accepted it, and really now it's like a religion to me almost, like lifting weights and staying in condition year round. And I think it's not only me, but all the players, you know, have gotten into this system and really uh, tried to excel in it. And everybody is willing to work and sacrifice, you know, to have a winning season, be a championship team like we're in the ACC this year. Coach Claiborne has instilled confidence in the players to the point where we're looking to win every game we play, not maybe we'll win or maybe we'll tie a game. You know, we're looking to win every game. Rome was not built in a day. Opposition.
fortune will come your way But the harder the battle you see It's the sweeter the victory now You can get it if you really want You can get it if you really want You can get it if you really want But you must try Try and try Try and try You succeed at last 1974 marked the third consecutive season during which Maryland improved its national stature, ending the year as the 13th ranked team. This was a season to claim the football championship of one of the finest conferences in the nation. It was a year for great accomplishment, and it gave promise to future Terrapin footballers the best is yet to come. You can get it.